Yeah, as I was saying, that, that's our land. So, um, this is verse, <clears throat> verse 4. We have, <clears throat> so I can, my phone timed out and started over on me. I don't know why I did that, but um, <clears throat> we have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. What? Because we shouldn't have to go out and, and buy wood or, or buy water and things like that. You know, we had our own wells and different things like that, you know, uh, in certain areas, you know, where these things were in abundance, you know, or actual drinking water, or actual wood that we could find and with certain trees or things that were knocked down, so on and so forth. You know, now when you look at today, and how we live in such a capitalist society that everything is brought into aspects of you need money for this or you need money for that. You need money for this or you need money for that. That's what America is operated off of. The fact that we have to pour our money and our resources into this society for every single thing, which is purely ridiculous, you know, purely ridiculous. All right. And going into uh, verse five, it says our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. All right. Look at the way our people is being done every single day. You know, <clears throat> we under constant persecution by the so-called white man, whether if it's, you know, some type of violence going on in, in the streets uh, by the hands of the police, uh, by the hands of, you know, uh, our jobs and things in which we work in, you know, taxes, or if you own a house with your mortgage or different bills and things that you may need to pay, we are under constant persecution on all aspects of our lives, man. All aspects of our lives. What we labor and have no rest because what? We know that this society was not built for us to actually have some sort of rest, you know? It wasn't built for that at all. All right? This society... Uh, the Lord brought us over here to serve out our punishment. That's what we are here for, to serve out our punishment, not to actually have rest here, not to actually live it up here in Babylon and great, which so many people think that, you know, we were brought here because, well, this is the great land of opportunity. This is the land of this, this is the land of that. Yeah, you got certain opportunities here, but overall, as a nation, do we completely have an opportunity? No, it's only the opportunity for individualism, you know, uh, which is the most selfish thing of all, you know, because we're supposed to be thinking about our nation, our people, you know, ourselves and our family, first and foremost, to get ourselves together. But then secondarily, what our people, you know, always supposed to be in that, that aspect. But now America promotes individualism to do that, that method of divide and conquer. OK, the method of divide and conquer. That's what it's all about with America and how America tries to place things tries to uh, play things out to be, you know, that's the way that they want it to be because that's more kosher, it's more beneficial for them to do things in that manner, you know. Um, uh, verse verse six, it says, we have given the hand to the, uh, to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. That's, <coughs> that's what it is. Since we disobeyed the Most High, we've given, we've we've uh, given more leeway unto the other nations, you know, to be satisfied with the substance that we were supposed to have, you know, they're 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 salivating off of our substance, man, the substance and things that we're supposed to have, we're supposed to be enjoying, they're enjoying that to the fullest, man, you know, they're enjoying that to the fullest. And because, you know, we look on, we look at the privacy side of things, you know, things are supposed to be this way. But at the same time, we look at it on a, just more on the fleshly tip. You see that, yo, Israel, what? We gave up our hand because what? We didn't listen to the Lord. We didn't obey the Lord. But we know that things are supposed to go this way because we have to learn from our mistakes in order to actually inherit the kingdom, you know, uh, by the most high's will. Because that's the way he wanted things to actually go, you know? So, um... We have given hand, we have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. So, and when you go into this, it's not that you actually paid for your father's sins, you're paying for your forefather's sins, which is 
us as individuals coming back in the reincarnation and we are paying for our own individual sins when we come back reincarnated upon uh, uh in in the earth once again you know that's how it that's how it goes that's how it actually uh gets down you know um uh verse 8 servants have ruled over us there is none that deliver us out of their hand we get our bread with the pearl of our lives because of the sword of the wilderness and now you apply that in today's time what jake is doing things to get money you know by the peril of by, by the, with peril with danger you know because of the things that jake is doing all type of wild stuff in the name of danger you know because of the sword in the wilderness because of esau's wrath that he has upon our people america for our people we don't have the whole america we have we have neighborhoods we have ghettos you know that's what we have we have ghettos we have little, small little town areas that are that are destroyed that are dilapidated that are you know that are just broken down that's what we have you know that's what we have so when you look at it it's like a it's the wilderness it's like the wild wild west when you truly think about it man that's the way he goes down and, and jake is doing anything by by danger to get money to try to survive that's the wrong way to go about it obviously but this uh lets you know the way of how things go within our areas man you know our skin verse 10 our skin is black like an oven because of the terrible famine well we, we famished out here you know uh they ravaged the woman of in zion and the maids in the cities of judah princes are hanged up by their hand their the faces of the elders were not honored they took the young men to grind and the children fell under the wood so when you look at these different characteristics these all can clearly apply into our people you know they ravished the women in zion being raping our woman now our woman in, into twerk culture into uh just showing your ass culture and, and all of this just by their looks the women truly have no value no more as they probably should unto their household unto their husbands unto the children so on and so forth you know the men is being killed left and right you know uh the young men things like that you being you being stricken by the force of of going to work and, and making money at a very minimal wage just to try to survive and that's not the way to live you know all of these scriptures always apply can clearly apply to us when you look at them in this modern day time man you know so i just want to bring that because i just always like to bring out those realizations of how the scriptures apply unto us in modern day time you know so uh with that you know i hope the segment was edifying i'd like to give all praises on and glory to yahweh bashim yahushai bashim kakwadash double one to the apostles and the elders of great millstone and shalom to like up there doing this work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity shalom